She was like, call Global, call Global. So I'm like, please, please. What's up guys? Sorry if the camera is shaky. I'm not on my selfie stick right now. So yeah. But anyway, I just left flight from Charlotte to New York. I'm here now. Just um, now I'm going to be connecting from Delta to Korean Airline. So let's see what they got to offer. Korean Airline is already my favorite because they're going to feed me. <laughs> Enough said. But yeah, so I'm navigating new york's jfk um airport dang i gotta go outside for a second i know it's about to be cold Ooh, i got my ankles out it's all good but yeah we're about to find korean airlines okay let's go all right y'all so basically it's no games like i'm out here walking in the cold I pr i'm prepared i'm warm um shout out to these chacos They've been killing the game, easy for TSA, take my shoes right off, have socks on. They're really bomb, like, before uh, this whole YouTube thing is over with, Chacos, y'all better look out, because I'm about to put everybody on. <laughs> but anyway, so, I'm walking the terminal too. Yeah, I gotta get used to recording and just not even caring, because First of all, all the videos won't be like this. I'm gonna have a nice steady little angle once I get my selfie stick out. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what all I use to record because this is my iPhone. <laughs> anyway, so I'm finding Terminal 1, which is Korean Airlines. And once I get there, I gotta handle some stuff because y'all won't believe. Oh my gosh, y'all won't believe what happened. Like, so my dumb self, thinking I'm overly prepared, I done. Did I just get an exit in New York? I figured I can get this one way and just go out the country. No, you have to have a return ticket or a visa. Let, let's, let's talk about this later. Let me, it's cold outside. So I just got upstairs in Terminal 1 in JFK. This is what it looks like. It's huge. I feel like I have a booger. I know y'all don't want to see this. Boogers are real. Your girl is real. Let me take out this one because I felt like I was just yelling. But anyway. All right, guys. So last night I was with my girls, uh, Tiana and Tay. Shout out to y'all. And um, I scratched my finger. That's why I have a Band-Aid, if you wanted to know. I got some applesauce. Got all my snacks from Dollar Tree. I've been digging into them. But I got plenty of snacks. We got peanut butter crackers. We got trail mixes. That's what those bags are. So 
for energy. We got blueberry breakfast biscuits, mandarin oranges, gum, Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm gonna get into this applesauce while I talk to y'all. This is how it all went down. I'm leaving my house, saying bye. So I'm gonna start from the house, cause y'all wanna hear a story, right? This is a vlog, all right? I'm saying bye to my mom, get a little lift. I got to the airport, Charlotte Douglas Airport. I'm going in, I'm checking my bags. Heavy as crap, dropping the bag over and over. People don't care, like, don't care. <laughs> I get to Charlotte, check in for Delta. Give them my passport, show them my boarding pass. They're like, oh, you can't go. Like, where's your return ticket or your visa? First she was like, where's your visa? I was like, uh, in my research, <laughs> pull that out real fast. I was like, in my research, it says, I get a visa upon arrival in Bali, or I can purchase a visa, which I plan on doing. And then, you know, leaving after my 60 days and then going back. They're like, oh, um, what's your purpose of visit and like all this other stuff. I'm like, no, 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 like what's going on? I'm, I'm freaking out. So I'm like, wait, so I can't go to Bali? She was like, no, you have to have a visa. And then she asked this other lady and she was like, okay, you can have a return ticket. And I was like, I need to buy a ticket right now, another ticket? She was like, yeah, you have to have a return ticket or you can't go. Like, otherwise that's taking that as like, you're illegally immigrating to their country. If you just have a one way and you plan on just staying there, they're like, okay, no, like, what are you, what are you doing? You can't just do that. And so I'm like, okay, dang. So I'm like, what? She's like, it's okay. You're early to your flight. I was there, mind you, I was there like three hours early. Something just told me, go three hours early. Now guys, I am a spiritual person and I believe in God and Jesus as my savior. When I say I was calling on his name like so much in my head, I didn't want to get teary eyed. I didn't want to feel defeated because then I already gave that all my energy. So I was like, okay, buy a ticket. I have a traveler's credit card. So I was like, thank the Lord that I had that because who would have had, I mean, I have it because I saved money of course for this trip. But, and I'll get into all those details, upcoming videos, but y'all, they're telling me at the check-in for my boarding pass that I cannot go because I don't have a return ticket or a visa. And at first, the lady's making it like, for sure she thinks I'm supposed to have a visa. And so then I start looking up how you obtain a visa immediately. They say it takes like 24 hours. That's the fastest it can go. So I'm like defeated. I reach out to my girl Bria, who's already in Bali, and she sends me this little thing that I did see initially, but the lady told me, the thing was the ladies, both these two ladies for Delta Airlines, they were like, you have to have a return ticket to US territory. So that's why I got a ticket to Durham, Charlotte. I booked a ticket for 60 days, about around 60 days back to Charlotte from Denpasar. And No, 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 I booked it for October 1st, y'all. First, I booked it for October because my friend Kenya, my girl, is getting married and I'm in the, I'm a bridesmaid. So I have to be back in Charlotte in September. So I was like, let me go ahead and book it for uh, September. But then I reached out to her. She said, it's in October. Like I had to push it back. So I'm like, okay, let me book it for October. Book the flight, $950. Um, go back up there, feeling good, feeling great. Because honestly, it took me maybe about 45 minutes. Y'all, this little, this little girl is on the floor. Then I go up to the Delta Airlines to check in again, and they say, you can't do this. Like, uh, we see you were trying to do the right thing, but you booked a flight that's like to over 250 days. I think you can't stay like that long unless you have a special visa, like a working visa, a social visa, any of that. I don't have none of that. I'm going to get the visa upon arrival, and then I'm going to buy that, John, and I'm going to extend it. And I'm gonna do visa loans, right? That's the whole way you can stay in a foreign country. You have to do visa loans. Otherwise, you're getting fined for every day after your visa is expired. So I'm freaking out again because they're like, call global, call global, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. She was like, call global, call global. So I'm like, <laughs> like, what's going on? So then they call global, and global's like, yeah, she can't do that. It has to be like 60. They're like, oh, can you, um, 60 days, 60 to 90 days. And they're like looking at my passport, looking at the thing, doing all this stuff. Just everything's feeling like helpless, basically. So I'm like, 
of course, saying my prayer, like, Jesus, you got this. God, you got this. Like, whatever the outcome is, I trust you. Um, I really want to see Bali. Like, I trust you. I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to stay calm. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thanking him already, right? And so then the lady's like, like, well, this manager can be here in, like, five minutes. So he's going to come in and tell us what what we can do because you were doing the right thing you booked the flight it's our fault we didn't tell you that it had to be within a 90 day period not two, over 250 days because I'm, I'm trying to be in Bali for a minute so then the man comes out he's really cool this nice Indian guy and he was like yeah this this and this he starts telling me all this stuff um, and things I can do he tells me like cancel the flight well while he was coming out I canceled that flight $915 where? Like, that's crazy. And I can't even use it. I'm At this point, I'm like, no, cancel that flight. So I canceled the flight. I did it through Hopper. Shout out to Hopper. Hopper is the whole reason why I found this flight. This one-way ticket so cheap. I got my flight to Bali from um, Charlotte for $535, I believe, or $555, however much it was. But, yeah, so I trust Hopper, so I went ahead and put my card information on there and actually book through them and they do it really quick so it's awesome then I'm talking to the Delta people and they're like okay actually you're still in good standing you just need to get a flight for like 60 days so we kept playing around with days in his computer system to see what would allow me to be able to once I connect because the whole thing is leaving from Incheon, like even going to Incheon from New York, fine, I would be fine. But once I would have went from the Incheon, Seoul, Korea to Denpasar, you're not on like, you're in another country, you know? So you have to get a visa and do all these other precautions and show that you have some type of return flight or some type of flight out of their country after your visa would be up. So I'm like, at this point, y'all, I've booked two flights on my card. Put over a, over 1,700 on my card right now. And no, 900 of it won't be refunded until like seven business days. And then other, like, other funds won't be refunded until like however many days. So I'm so, I'm just not, I'm not planning on spending any additional money just so far. I transferred 100 US dollars to uh, Rupia in Charlotte before I came here. So, so yeah, excuse me, my phone's right here, sorry. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Um, but yeah, so I just, I did all of that and it's just like, goodness. Went through the most, they scared me, ended up letting me go. So what I'm gonna do is to be in good standing to be able to get to Denpasar and them not like, be like, no, you can't come in here and turn me around because I didn't have a return ticket. I'm going to keep my ticket from Charlotte to, I ended up having to make it from uh, Denpasar to Charlotte in March, like March 1st. No way I'm only spending two months out there. This venture I labeled as a year. So I want to make that like legit. So anyway, I'm going to keep this ticket to be in good standing until I reach Denpasar. I did pay 95 or $92 extra and that way you can refund or um, and cancel your flight at any time through Hopper um, because you paid that type of insurance. So I paid that extra insurance so that once I get out there and I'm settled in Bali, I'm gonna, I'm changing that, like I'm changing it. But can y'all believe that? I really did not think, I didn't think I was gonna make it. I really didn't. But now I'm in New York. Waiting until 12.20 a.m. when I can board this flight to Korea. And guess how long it is, guys? 14 hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be a longer video because I'm, I'm taking you three connecting flights all the way from Charlotte to New York to Incheon, Seoul, Korea for 11 hour layover. Um, and then I'm taking you to Bali. Let's get to Bali together, guys. I'll see you in a bit.
So when I get to my seat, I see a bunch of stuff. I love window seats. Some headphones with covers, so I don't have to use them. With somebody else's, some purified water. These are some slippers and a toothbrush. Y'all, yeah. um, this is my travel kit that I have. I'll show you what's in there later. A pillow, my pillow, and then there was, oh, that's my tissue and my little breakfast biscuit and a blanket. So yeah, there goes the blanket. There's also a TV, y'all. Sorry for the angle, but there's a TV with a remote and I'll show you how I use all of this stuff. I didn't know how to open it at first. Okay, so once I was able to sit down, I realized that the back of the remote is actually a game um, controller. So they had games on the TV as well. And the front is just a normal controller. I wanted to watch movies. They had new releases. Like they actually had good stuff on here. Like Maleficent, all that stuff. Um, I think I ended up choosing Maleficent. I'm just showing you how you can navigate this TV. It was very simple. The remote is easy. Um, you also get the option to change everything to English. Some of the movies I wasn't familiar with. Some of them I was. I was and they had different genres like so this genre was new releases but the other genres were like comedy um they also had tv shows kids things you can choose from i think i watched toy story 3 too so um yeah i chose maleficent i'm gonna show you what it looks like it pulls up the screen um tells you a little synopsis of the story and then i you click watch movie or watch the trailer if you aren't familiar and you can choose between those four languages of course english you can also have subtitles on i was thinking once i saw this that the headphones wouldn't be loud but the headphones were loud english again and boom i started watching my movie it was really good too i hadn't seen that okay so i was really excited for this this is my first flight meal there's bread and butter i think that was a wheat grain a little um moist towelette for your hands a side salad it was so fresh like i was shocked at how fresh everything was um some real pineapples it was really good it has my name on there because i had a special meal <laughs> vegetarian um that was for wine i found out later then you have your cup of water and the cup underneath it is for tea or coffee that they offer you after you eat it's actually silverware but you can tell that they clean it because it's super shiny this dressing was all natural and it was just like super lemony it was good so this is my meal you saw it was no meat no all of that stuff so it um it was actually really good y'all so it was some rice with mixed veggies some bok choy in the middle some tomato and like green pepper mixture with squash. So I made it my way back to my seat. I actually went back to sleep for a while, but when I woke up, I did a mask. Roses are red, violets are blue mask. It is actually a Korean mask um, and that you don't have to wash off. You let the nutrients soak in. Just showing you guys what my travel care 
package looks like for myself. <laughs> had some things in there that I really need. Um, started looking at the screen. Then my next meal came. This was my second meal. It was pretty good too. So here I just want to show you some other features on the screen. So you could click the more feature. I mean the flight feature and this app called sky map showed you this voyager like 3d all these different things about your flight what you're doing now it shows you it's so cool look at this it shows you the globe it shows you the starting point from new york and then it showed how like the different countries we were passing different um um places that we were passing it shows you the ground speed the altitude the distance of the destination it tells you your time that you arrive the time it is currently it was really cool everything of course is in military time um i, I just really liked looking at the globe so i would click on this throughout the flight but i really did get some good sleep on this flight i'm not even gonna lie but you see how cool that is? How it shows you? We're almost, we were almost at Incheon. It was like over there. <laughs> but yeah. I thought this was a really, really nice feature of the plane. Look how far I went. Y'all. So I just made it off the plane. I'm in Seoul, Korea. I just learned that Kamsamira means like thank you. So I was like, Kamsamira. Thank you. I'm actually about to cut the video off because this was too much. But when I say Incheon is beautiful, this is a sneak peek of something that's in Incheon Airport. I'm going to show it all to you in my next video. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Bye.